All right, it's your favorite lab rat back in the lab. Taylor Lawson here, uh, except we're not hitting balls tonight. We are doing a swing analysis of Hannah Cook from Barstool Sports. Um, not sure if you follow Barstool Sports, but I enjoy a handful of their personalities. I've been watching Hannah play golf, I guess, for a few near years now. I guess she's maybe has been playing for, I think she's a beginner technically. Uh, I guess not technically. I think maybe less than five years though. Anyway, she's got a solid swing. She's been out, been out on the course with DJ, Steph Curry. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have here. I have a, a, a line through the shaft. For the shaft plane and I've got a line on her rear end just to see what her hips are doing through the swing and then I also have a box half a box on the top of her head and the front of her head so let's take a look what happens here right from takeaway so right here bringing it inside which that's something I've battled with in the past, and I think I've spent far too much energy trying to get that club tracing up the plane line in the, in the takeaway because there's so many great ball strikers that bring it inside. So inside takeaway at about P2 here, see the club face? Definitely not open. Um, probably matching the the her spine angle right now. Um, but I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't call it hooded. It's not uh, so closed uh, that there's anything to be uh, concerned about. But look at the t her head here, dropping down a little bit. So we see that with elite ball strikers too. Let's go back up here. Back on plane, looking good here. Look at her right hip now on that line. So yep, a little pushing the hip right back, uh, back uh, on rotation on the takeaway. Not bad. Seeing a little uh, knee flexing as well in the left knee. I should see see a little gap there. Go up to the top. High hands. This is like a JT esque uh, top of the backswing. Um, maybe not exactly. I, I don't know. I'd have to look at his swing, but I don't know if his right elbow flares right there as much as hers. But you can see, you know, how square or even closed her club face is at the top of the swing. Let's see what happens here. I mean, she crosses the line of hair, but there's some really good stuff that happens here in the downswing. So we're going to keep going. See her head now starting to go towards the ball. And her, her rump is coming off that line. So kind of, I don't know much, but I know enough that we do not want to be going towards the ball uh, starting the downswing even though I think Payne Stewart did, and he won three majors, I believe. So there's there's nuance to everything. So we got to keep that in mind. And when I first looked at this, I was like, oh boy, look how steep she is. That shaft is coming through her collarbone. When, you know, ideally, or when you look at elite swings, this that club shaft is more towards or is eventually getting towards the original shaft plane, the line we have there. But, I mean, so it's shallowing now. It went from the collarbone just through the shoulder. You can steer hips. Look how far her hips came off or her butt came off that, that line. But, now the hips are clearing, which is great. And 
And then all of a sudden, just look how shallow this club is right here. So from here to here. Now that you can't see it because she's wearing all black, but that club head is probably right on her elbow. And that shaft is going right through her forearm. I mean, this is a, an awesome looking position here. Super athletic. And so, I mean, if we're, we're looking at her moving towards the ball. I mean, if that's something... She, she would even care to know about or work on who knows down to impact look at that right arm and i mean this is if we just and she's lowered a little bit look at look at this uh, the the head box where she started at a dress look how much she's lowered we see that in a ton of elite ball strikers and this thing is striped from what I saw on Instagram. I mean, she takes a, a pretty little divot, not, you know, I can't really say it's steep. I mean, we could never say it's steep. I did, she didn't hack up the earth and took a thin divot. Um, hips cleared off the back foot. I mean, this, this looks great. Look at that release. Toes coming up on the release. And look where the club exit exits her mid body. Right there, kind of back on plane. So assume, assume that line I have from going through the, the club shaft at a dress is just like a pane of glass. That club shaft right now, it would be tracing up it, uh, if you can imagine. And we go to the finish in balance and finishes a swing with the shaft going through her ears, her back of her head. Um, so yeah, and then she did a zoom in on this shot and I don't know how many feet it was from the hole. It was definitely a green in regulation. So, uh, Tons of nice stuff in, in this golf swing. Probably wants to work on, on not drifting towards the ball uh, during the downswing. But, I mean, she's hitting darts on par threes. Uh, I imagine she's not losing too much sleep over it. But, uh, yeah, been kind of awesome to watch her kind of get better. Uh, there was an awesome clip of her with her coach. Um kind of he was I like the way he was talking to her he was basically uh saying if you spent as much time on your irons as you did your driver you know you'd be you know you'd be a great ball striker so um but I think she's probably getting away with this swing as it is and it's I mean a lot to like in this swing